How's it going everyone? So I'm back with another video. Um, today's video is going to be about how to replace these uh, seat belts. Um, mine's actually starting to rip as you can see right here um, and it's just being discolored. Um, it's just use over the time and years um, and I was actually able to find a brand new one never used on the Impala forums on Facebook. They're brand new and uh, I have both sides. Let's see, here's the passenger side. But I'm only gonna do the driver's side because it's the same process on both. Um, so what I'm gonna do is replace it with the new one and I'm gonna show you guys how to do it. And first thing you gotta do, disconnect your battery, one of these had these for several years i'll always carry this with me in the car always but it disconnected the battery it's been off for a few minutes and it's part and i do that because it's part of the srs system you don't want anything going off and before you actually even do that you want to put the seat all the way up and tilt it as much as you can forward and right now obviously there's no battery powered have all the doors open and the trunks or whatever you need to have open and that's pretty much it. So first thing I want to do is take these soles off. You can use a screwdriver. I'm using an electric gun screwdriver. So I'm gonna do that first. I'm gonna start taking it off. And so far, all the tools that I have to do this job is these basic tools. And one other thing, right? one other thing too. So check this out. This is a hot debate of how to take these off. This is a T45. See that? Now, this is also a T45. But here's the difference. You see the heads? I'm gonna zoom in if I can. So you see the difference on the heads? The one on the right, you cannot use. The one that says a T45. You have to get one that has this number on it. TP45. And the reason why is because if you look at this bolt, when you use a TP45, I'm gonna zoom in, it is going to fit snugly in there. You use this one, which is a regular T45, it's loose and you'll strip the bolt. And that's where people mess up. And there's always been a debate about that, but that is the main difference of how to take these bolts. So in this piece, how to take this off, it's gonna have a little clip inside. And all you're gonna do is take a pocket screwdriver and you can see this little indention. You can pick, camera pick it up, you see it from here. It's all you're gonna do is lift it up and pop it off. You get it from underneath here. I'm gonna do it on the other side real quick. So now I'm gonna take my TP45, just one of these, and at the same time, I mean, you could take an impact tool, but what you want to do, I'm going to do it off, this off camera. You want to press this in as firmly as you can, at, like this, press it in. At the same time, turn it counterclockwise, and that's how should, you should be able to take it off. Also forgot to mention if the bolt is too hard this this bolt up here is too hard you might want to get a longer breaker bar and also uh, take it off that uh, easier that way 
This one was, wasn't that bad because I already took this off before when I redid the uh, interior. Another thing I forgot to mention is the correct orientation of how the seatbelt is oriented. So if you look at, take a look at this, this is how it's supposed to be and it's gonna go over your shoulder like that. Um, you don't wanna put this in backwards because you don't wanna have to twist something like that. You know how seatbelts get, but that's another thing I forgot to mention. So now I'm gonna remove this should be easier now. I'm gonna move this. So this is big bag of my hand. I can come with this. And that's how you take the top one off. Take it up from here. Now I'm gonna take this off, this panel off, so I can have access to this piece. Just that simple. Okay, so now I gotta do is raise up, zoom out. So all I gotta do is raise up. Make sure nothing's. Make sure you don't pull anything that you don't need to be pulled, and. There is the old one. And it also has the left driver's side. Last remaining bolt is all the way down here. Let me zoom in. The last remaining bolt is that one. But now you can actually, once you have this out, the camera. So I don't think the camera picked it up. So all you gotta do is pull that out. And then this piece right here, this has a piece like that. And all you gotta do is remove it, slide it through. And that's the way you take this off. This off. All you have, you have remaining is this. And you're probably wondering how are you gonna take this plastic piece off? Well, you don't have to because the new ones or at least the one I have has this. Um, all the other used ones have this as well. Um, so you don't have to worry about that. So, and I'm gonna take this off. And if I think if I remember correctly, I didn't take this bolt off. I think I left it on. So this one might be tight. We'll see. I got it. This thing was tight. So now all you gotta do is lift up and pull it up. So now I'm gonna do the reversal of everything I just did. Clean this off a bit. So now, I'm gonna slip this on back here. I'm not gonna put any grease on it, on the bolts or anything. Um, I'm not gonna put anything on it. I'm just gonna put it back the original, how it was originally. And again, please disconnect the battery. Please disconnect the battery. I'm gonna take the same one, same tool back okay 
okay put it back in now I'm gonna take this piece and I'm gonna slide everything back through back on like that and before installing this piece remember to put this piece back so now I'm going to put this piece back in remember this piece slides in Correct orientation. And this is going to go like this. that in like so next do this grab this grab that started by hand Has that play to it and I'm gonna use the same one again since it's still good I'm gonna slip this back on use a pocket screwdriver use the pocket screwdriver and I clipped it back on and that's it and there you have it an easy install it took me about 15 minutes um, I was just getting a longer breaker bar uh, than this and to, to remove the bolts again a TP45 make sure it looks like this not the other one uh, disconnect the battery and that was pretty much it so it was a pretty easy install on the next video I'm going to talk about um, the 373 gear upgrade that I did to the car um, I personally didn't do it. I had another company install it for me. I have no idea how to install gears yet. Um, and I did, however, rebuild the transmission with all stage three internals from Sonax, um, all billet internals. And I'm gonna show you guys the performance, um, uh, the difference in takeoff or how night and day difference this car is from, from a dead stop it completely changed the car and it's probably one of the best upgrades performance upgrades i've done I, and i wish um chevy from the factory had this as an option with 373s uh, but yeah that's gonna be on the next video i'll talk more about it uh stay tuned for more guys thanks